in New South Wales at the present time, we're currently seeing an increase in meningococcal disease caused by a particular strain, the W strain. So as you no doubt know, a meningococcal disease um, is caused by different sero groups and they have uh, letters of the alphabet assigned to them. So the most common strains uh, worldwide are the A, C, W, Y and B strains. In Australia, uh, up until fairly recently, we've had strain B as the most common uh, type, although this has been starting to go down in the last year or two. Uh, we also previously had quite a lot of strain C, but we've been vaccinating against that strain for more than a decade now uh, with a vaccine under the National Immunisation Program. What we've seen with this new emerging W strain is actually a tripling of cases in the last year. So uh, we've gone from nine cases in 2015 to 26 cases uh, last year, 2016. So uh, this represents a real increase in meningococcal W strain, hence, hence the new program. Meningococcal disease uh, presents most commonly as either um, rapid onset bacterial men meningitis or as a generalised sepsis. And general practitioners would be very aware that the disease onset can be very quick. Um, symptoms include fever, uh, headache, generally a very unwell uh, looking person. And there is of course a typical rash that can occur with meningococcus, but that doesn't have to be present uh, in, in every case. Sometimes there are unusual presentations um, such as arthritis, pneumonia, um, even epiglottitis, but these are quite rare. Uh, general practitioners are, are obviously um, are very knowledgeable about the importance and seriousness of this disease and the need to be looking out for it in patients. Um, I would emphasise that it's most commonly occurring in children under the age of five and indeed under the age of two, but the disease can occur in any age group. The New South Wales meningococcal W vaccination program will be using the quadrivalent conjugate meningococcal vaccine. So this is the vaccine that contains the four strains. In addition to the W strain, there is also A, C and Y. And that program will be offering the vaccine to all New South Wales high school students in year 11 and 12 initially. Some of the highest rates of meningococcal disease are in older adolescents and it's in fact older adolescents that are most likely to carry the bacteria in the nose uh, and the back of the throat. So obviously with the vaccination program it's aimed at both targeting the age group where the vaccine can give the most protection to the individual, but by vaccinating that age group, we're hoping that that will also decrease carriage of the bacteria in the back of the throat, and that may have wider effects to the rest of the population. So um, it's quite possible that that will help with some herd effects, herd immunity, um, to the remainder of the population who are not receiving the vaccine under the program. Now the program will be using a single dose of the quadrivalent meningococcal conjugate vaccine. So this is the vaccine that contains four strains. It's the A, C, W and Y. Um, in there, of course, you heard the W, which is the strain we're um, experiencing uh, the, the outbreak of in New South Wales. But there'll also be protection against the three other strains. And indeed, that C uh, protection will act as a boost to the um, protection already achieved um, by the national program. Many children will have already had that single dose of a C vaccine when they were, were much younger as toddlers. Our GPs, as always, have a very important role in the diagnosis and early uh, management of invasive meningococcal disease and should be on the lookout for patients with symptoms of meningococcal disease. With regard to the vaccination program that will be given in schools for students who are in year 11 and 12, um, general practitioners are going to have a role in providing vaccine to same age children, so those who would otherwise um, have been in year 11 and 12 but are not, in, not attending school uh, due to specific circumstances. 
um, such as other commitments, um, and these may include things like homeschooling, work or, or vocational training, um, and it'll be general practitioners who will be supplying uh, vaccine, uh, providing vaccine to those students. GPs, of course, will also um, have a role in continuing to provide uh, the other scheduled NIP meningococcal vaccine, so that's the meningococcal C vaccine, which is routinely given together with the Hib vaccine at age 12 months. Yeah, from the 1st of May this year, 2017, the priority will be to supply the uh, ACWY vaccine for those in year 11 and 12 through the school-based program. Uh, New South Wales Health will be advising general practitioners as to when they will receive their supplies of vaccine uh, for patients that, of that age that they'll be vaccinating in their practices. And as always, there will be a supply of um, the vaccine that will be used in certain um, you know, specific outbreak uh, incidences by New South Wales Health. As with all government funded programs, uh, the vaccine is targeted at the age group where it will have the greatest individual uh, benefit as well as potentially having a population benefit. Because older adolescents are the ones who have the highest rate of both carrying the bacteria in the back of their throat and also then transmitting it on to others, this is the age group that's being targeted and the hope is that by reducing um, cases in this age group and reducing the carriage of the bacteria, there'll be a wider benefit to the whole of the population. Yeah, the meningococcal B strain is not included in the four-in-one conjugate vaccine. So it's a vaccine all on its own, and that vaccine is not currently funded under the National Immunisation Programme. It is available uh, for prescription and uh, so thus on the private market, but there's uh, rather limited availability at the current time.